world's largest cruise company is changing direction. Carnival Corporation is replacing its embattled CEO, Mickey Arison, who led the company for more than three decades. In a moment, we'll talk to Carnival's new boss in an interview you'll see only on CBS This Morning. But first, Jeff Glor joins us from Carnival's headquarters in Doral, Florida. Jeff, good morning. Nora, good morning to you. Arison has been CEO since 1979. He took Carnival from a company that had three ships back then to 102 today, carrying more than 10 million passengers a year. But Arison himself also came to carry baggage, and this announcement was made Tuesday. As the owner of the Miami Heat, back-to-back -back NBA champions, the last two years have been very good for Mickey Arison on the court. Most incredible roller coaster I've ever been on, and it, it just feels great. As the CEO of the Carnival Corporation, it's been a much different story at sea. There's been a heavy, intense spotlight on the company for a while. In January 2012, one of its ships, the Costa Concordia, ran aground in Italy and tipped over. 32 people were killed. 13 months later, an engine fire on the Carnival Triumph knocked out power and left the ship adrift in the Gulf of Mexico for five days. It was just really gross. At times, we had no water, so we couldn't even wash our hands. Passengers dealt with overflowing toilets and more. Arison was seen courtside enjoying the heat. Problems on three other Carnival boats. The elation, the dream, and the legend followed, prompting some potential vacationers to look elsewhere. Publicly, Carnival said it was splitting the chairman and CEO roles. I've been discussing this with the board for some time now, Arison said in a statement, and feel the timing is right to align our company with corporate governance best practices. A lot of people are saying Mickey Arison's been forced out. He said, if I'm being booted, I'm booting myself. Like, I'm throwing myself overboard. Replacing Arison as CEO next month, Arnold Donald, founder of the company that created the sweetener Equal. He's been on the Carnival board for 12 years. And Arison will remain chairman of that board. He also remains a very rich man. Forbes estimates his net worth at $5.2 billion. Charlie, Nora. Uh, Jeff, thank, thank you.